Hi sisters, James Charles here with Vogue Portugal to answer some of your questions. Before we go ahead and get started, make sure you guys check out the November issue of Vogue Portugal, The Beauty of Imperfection. It is my first ever Vogue cover. It was the biggest honor ever and I love, love how the article turned out. First question, what is your favorite food? My favorite food would have to be Wagyu steak or french fries or chicken tenders. All good options. What do you think about Portugal? Oh my gosh, I've never actually been able to visit Portugal before, but I want to go visit so, so badly. I've heard that it is absolutely beautiful, and now I have to go meet my Portuguese sisters as soon as I possibly can. How did you feel when Vogue asked you to be on the cover? It was one of the craziest experiences ever. The Vogue team DM'd me on Instagram. So at first I didn't even know if it was real, but they said they wanted to talk to my team about doing a shoot. I thought it would be something just for the inside of the magazine, which was still super exciting. But when I found out that it was the cover, my heart dropped. I was so grateful for the opportunity. The shoot was so much fun. The Vogue team gave me full creative direction. So I got to put my spin on the beauty of imperfection. And I am so proud of how the issue turned out. What is your motivation to do what you do as a content creator? Definitely my fans. I mean, that's such an easy answer. My sisters are my main support system and they push me to work harder and harder every single day so I can put out quality, entertaining content and make them smile. What is your biggest milestone? Ooh, there are definitely a few that come to mind. I would obviously have to say being the first ever male cover girl at the beginning of my career was such a huge, incredible opportunity that truly changed the makeup industry forever. I would also have to say releasing my first ever makeup product, the James Charles X Morphe palette when I hit 10 million subscribers was amazing. Uh, producing my first ever reality competition show, Instant Influencer at 20 million subscribers was incredible. And now of course being on the cover of Vogue at almost 25 million was such a huge honor milestone as well. James, what bothers you most about being famous? What bothers me most about being famous is it's really hard for people to know who you are as a person, but because you're online showing people yourself and your content and your life, everyone thinks that they know you. I'm definitely the type of person that loves to interact, that loves to make people happy, that loves to say hi to people all the time, but it definitely does get to me when somebody doesn't like me for reasons that I can't control. Uh, what would you say to your past self, if you could. What would I say to my past self? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe shut up a little bit. I did a little bit too much talking when I was younger and just get ready for a crazy ride. James, what do you want to be remembered for? That's such a hard question. Um, I think in several years when I am gone, <laughs> I want to be remembered for inspiring people. I think that, you know, wearing makeup and posting these YouTube videos is my art form and I just love making people happy. And I think that we're moving towards an incredible direction of makeup being for all, whether it be um, girls or boys or anybody that identifies in between. I really wanna be a catalyst for inclusivity, diversity, and just pushing people to express themselves in any which way that they want to. James, who is your biggest inspiration? Ooh, if I had to pick who would be my biggest inspiration, it would either have to be my dad because he's self-employed and taught me everything that I know about business and being a strong, independent person. But if you want a more fun answer, I would probably have to say Rihanna. I love her and I just love that she started in music but then evolved her business into so many different avenues from fashion to makeup to home stuff and everything in between. She is somebody that I look up to immensely about just growing my brand as a person. And she looks amazing while doing it. <laughs> James, did you ever think about giving up? There have definitely been many times where I have thought about giving up, but uh, I'm really glad that I didn't. Uh, social media can be a really, really dark place sometimes. And like I said, a lot of times people, you know, will leave comments or will think they know something about you when in reality they don't know you at all. And it can be a lot to do with and really, really overwhelming for certain people, but I'm really glad that I have a super, super thick skin and an amazing group of friends and my team around me to keep me positive, to keep me motivated, even during the toughest times. And I'm so glad that I've been able to push through and keep, you know, just growing along with my fan base. Besides your issue of Vogue Portugal, what do you like to read? 
Okay, so what do I like to read? Well, of course, aside from my issue of O, duh, that's my favorite thing to read. Um, I had a lot of favorite books growing up. I loved a lot of different adventure, science fiction type of stories. So I really loved uh, The Hunger Games was my absolute favorite series, a series of unfortunate events, Harry Potter, Maze Runner, uh, The Giver, and also The City of Ember were some of my absolute favorites. James, in 10 years from now, do you think you'll still be doing YouTube? In 10 years from now, I'll be 31? Ew! Oh my god! I don't- oh my god, okay. In 10 years from now, I- I don't know if I'll still be on YouTube. I mean, I've been doing videos for about five years now, which is crazy to think about. So imagine filming for 15 years straight. Will I even have any video ideas then? I don't know. I probably will still be on YouTube, but I don't know if I'll be uploading as frequently as I am now because hopefully in 10 years, I'll have so many other businesses and projects that I'm working on that'll be taking up a lot of my time. Like the makeup line, hopefully other TV shows that I'll be working on or producing, or I don't even know if TV will be around in 10 years. Maybe something even bigger and better than TV could be around and I'll be working on that. Music, businesses, everything under the sun. So I'll still be here, but I don't know what I'll be doing. I started doing makeup about five years ago now because I used to love drawing as a kid. I was always drawing people's faces, different women, men. I just loved portraits and just making people feel beautiful and confident. I also used to do girls' hair for ball or dances at my school. So naturally makeup just kind of happened. Um, I also used to love watching YouTube when I grew up. I watched so many of my favorite content creators not only do makeup, but also gaming, comedy, entertaining, and everything in between. So being a beauty guru or content creator here on YouTube truly encompasses my love for literally everything from business, art, making people feel confident, laughter, like it's the perfect job. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video with Vogue Portugal. Once again, make sure you check out my issue, The Beauty of Imperfection, at vogue.pt shop. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.